other. I'm lining it right up at that score line. Pushing down. And you don't have to hold it too long because it's going to cool pretty quickly because you have that contact with the tabs and the bottom of the tower base. And then I let the, I come in and I just rub that little excess right on out while it's warm. You could always come in with an X-Acto blade and score that to help remove it. Now you have your roof, connect to your tower tank, put the handrail on the base and the bottom of the sphere in, lo in place. Next step is going to be to put our structure together. And then we're going to go to the next step. So with our tower structure, what we're going to do is apply glue just to the bottom two pieces, two connections first. And then we're gonna, that'll help us with the alignment because what we want to do is line up these two structure pieces right to the bottom. So you get this nice connection right in here. This is really important. So do a little glue dot on the bottom two. Bring our structure piece over. Set it down on top. We want to align it so that we get those two edges like so. Get that bottom piece lined up right in the bottom like so. Rub that little bit of warm glue right off. And then we're going to rotate. We're going to do the same thing with the other piece. Glue dot. Alignment. A little bit of extra while it's warm. Now I have a nice flush bottom connection so that it'll sit nice and even. Now we can go ahead and apply the glue to two more. Bring them over in place. And we just kind of squeeze the two together. Get that excess, excess warm glue out of there. right on up the line and I like to rotate it around so that I get the different pieces so while that one is cooling this one's already cooled two more glue dots out and around apply pressure that warm glue out of there Rotate and glue. Last two for the top. Turn it around and repeat. All right, so that's in place. Now, what we're going to do is grab our base piece. 
and we're going to glue down our little guide squares. And those are going to be applied, a little dot of glue here, and then our square will go right on top. Some, some glue. Let me push it right on down into place. A little dot of glue. So the only thing that's missing from this one is normally there is a little circle scored right over here. That's for locating the tank pipe and where this piece is going to be located. So it's about a half an inch off of the little corner alignment piece. So we're gonna apply some glue to the bottom And then we're going to place it that half an inch from this edge. Okay, right there. And the other kits will actually have that line marked for you. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the tank base onto the tank top, like so. Now if you notice, we have these score square corners on each one of these, right here, right here, and here. That is where we want to line up our tower structure. It's going to slip right on there. So what we'll do is take some glue and apply it right to the little tabs. Careful with this one. And then we're going to just slide it right over the top and push it into position. And the tolerances are essentially right there. So even if you don't line it up with the square that's marked out on the bottom, that's all right. Just as long as it comes in contact with the bottom of the tank base. You can see right there I didn't get it perfect but I've got the glue in place and hold it while it cools and that guy is done now the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna take our down pipe and then we're gonna slide it right up inside the bottom of the tower and you can see we're not applying any glue because that's just gonna be free fit and what we're going to do is we're going to apply glue to the inside of this piece. So we're going to apply glue to that and we're going to then slide the tank pipe right inside of that portion. And that's a tight fit. Maybe what we'll do, we'll do it a little bit differently. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our pipe piece. We're going to apply some glue just to this bottom edge right along here. And we're going to insert it into the base pipe. And when we do that, we want to make sure that we are essentially sitting at a 45 degree angle from the corner. So apply some glue. Slip it into the tank base. And 
you can see here, let me rotate it. So we're at about a 45 degree angle, sort of cutting across. And we don't have to push in very far. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to tilt up. Now we have those two pieces. That will basically come together. right inside of the bottom of the tank like so and what we'll do next is apply glue to these little corner pieces and all we need is a dot on either corner Hold that till it cools, and then we can rotate and do the next piece. I like to do the last two at the same time because it's actually pretty tight and rotate it around, drop it right into place. Now you can put a little bit of pressure down on the top while it cools. And your whole tower is now complete. Now that you've finished your water tower, I hope you had a good time building it. If you would do me a favor, take a picture of it wherever you place it inside your house, in your office, or wherever you want to have a little bit of Syracuse history. Tag me on Instagram at tower underscore baker one. I would love to see what you do, and I'm sure others would as well. Thanks for building with me, and I hope you enjoyed the tower. Thanks.